Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at disassembling the Toshiba Satellite Pro C850. Uh, this is a Toshiba laptop, and in this case I am taking a look at it as the wireless card is having connectivity issues, so I'm going to replace that. But I'll also look at some of the other components in the laptop and how we can access them. So, first step as normal, we want to remove the battery. So tab 1, we want it over to this side, tab 2, we push across and lift the battery from this edge. From here now we want to undo the panel cover here, and that should allow us to just lever up this access panel. Now, removing this gives us access to the memory slots, the CMOS battery, and the hard drive. Um, quite nicely in this machine, the CMOS battery is easily accessible. In some cases, it isn't. We also have two DIMM slots, although only one is occupied at present. And what we are going to do is just push the hard drive out here. That disconnects it from the SATA cable. Um, there is actually a bit of plastic in the base here, which normally holds it in position. So no retaining screws for that, so if we lift that to remove it. And underneath there we have no screws to worry about, but we are going to take out this. We're going to need a slightly bigger screwdriver for that one. Removing this. Removing this screw allows us to now take out the optical drive, so pull on the bay there and that drive slides out easily. Now then, from here we want to go round and remove all these screws from the base as we just want to access the main components which is done through the base of the laptop. We just slacken off each of these in turn. We should be able to drop them out afterwards. So to remove the keyboard before we remove the base, we need to push in the little bits of plastic that retain the keyboard and at the same time attempt to lift it over them. So here we can see we have lifted that one. Having lifted the corner of the keyboard, we should be able to push in the following clips. And as we do so, the keyboard will pull up over those. So as we go along and release each in turn, this allows the keyboard to lift up. and then we slide the keyboard down towards us and we can see feel something holding it in the center which will be the ribbon connector so by lifting the keyboard up and turning it over we can now lift the little latch for the ribbon connector there and remove the keyboard under here then we have a series of screws that need removing to allow us to release the base to return to where we were before, so by lifting this corner we can work our way round the base of the laptop, releasing the various clips. So with the bottom panel now removed we have access to the wireless card here. We also have access to the processor which is socketed and therefore could be upgraded. Um, obviously check compatibility before doing so uh, to make sure you are looking at a chip that will work in this laptop. Um, but yes, yeah, so, and you know you can go through here, remove these four screws to get the heatsink assembly out. Um, if you want to clean that out, give it a dust. Similarly, there are a pair of screws by the looks of it to hold in the main cooling fan. But for me, what we are interested in is the wireless card
card here so I'm going to be removing the single screw to remove that and hopefully with the new replacement in we should be solving the problems for this laptop. I hope you found this guide useful and um, be sure to like if you want to see more content like this and subscribe to our channel to stay in touch with what we do. Thanks for watching.